Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at generators for lazy people who want to get shit done. If you are a hard working fella who loves modeling, this video is not for you. In fact, go to the next video before I show you these lazy people generators that can do anything you want without modeling. If you're still around, I guess you hate hard work as much as I do. So let's start with the first generator, iMesh. If you want to get shit done in no time, no generator can match iMesh generator. It's truly a generator for lazy people. Instead of modeling anything, why not just grab a photo from Gogo or anywhere else and turn it into a 3D scene? That's exactly what iMesh does. It generates a mesh from the depth map of an image onto which the image itself is projected as a texture. This gives you a 3D scene that you can navigate with 180 degrees of rotation freedom. And number two, we have Fluid Painter. These new generators are making it harder and harder, just fine doing things the old way. Why you had to make everything from scratch, step by step, like this Fluid Painter. That adds fluids on top of objects without any simulation. Just a few clicks and you are good to go. Maybe modeling is your hobby, but modeling fluids is not something anyone expects you to know how to do. There are simulators that you can use to make fluids, but those are for people who are patient because fluid simulators can take a while to work and to figure out. For those people like you who is watching this, there is Fluid Painter. Number three, we have El Wigo. I never thought I would recommend any products that make things soft or floppy instead of hard and firm, but this add-on adds jiggy effects to any parts of the body you want, so maybe it might come handy, especially if you're animating characters. It makes things look lively. Number four, we have procedure building. I bet you $100 I can use this building generator to create realistic buildings in any style you want before you can delete the default cube. This was one of the first generators that we are created when geometry nodes were introduced, but it still holds up to now. The level of detail it achieves and the flexibility you get is unmatched. Check it out in the description. Number five, we have architecture pack. Next challenge, if you thought the last challenge was unfair, let's try this. I can make a bridge that is textured and ready to render in a time it takes you to open Blender and delete the default cube by just using this architecture pack. And this includes other things like street lamps, castle walls, and more. And yes, you could say I won't have the satisfaction of saying I made it all by myself, but I guess what I will have is the satisfaction of completing a project and delivering something that people can watch or a client can use. And all you will have done in that time is opened up Blender and let the default cube and then adding it back. <laughs> nice. Number six, we have Procedure Roof Generators. Imagine modeling a roof from scratch for days only to have it be two pixels of blood in the background that nobody will see. But what if there is an unplanned close-up shot of the roof, you may ask. Well, that's why you use this generator that makes detailed roofs like this in five seconds instead of days. And you get all the detail you expect in just a few clicks. It can be customized and reused in any type of shot you want. Number seven, dust particle generator. Here is another $100 challenge. I bet you can't set up dust particles that look as good as this in the time it takes me to finish this sentence, but I can using this dust generator. And in fact, I can have multiple variations from dust particles, welding particles, fire or ember particles, and you, you would have to set up a particle system, do a ton of tests before you have something that looks great. If dust particles are the main feature of your scene, do spend as much time as you want, but if they are just appearing as secondary characters, then I recommend this dust particle generator. Number eight, we have line art generator. No matter the niche or style of animation, I know there is always someone equally lazy as me trying to make shortcuts. This is true for anime content creators, so I did not forget about you. One of the most time consuming tasks when it comes to making anime is making your anime look like anime. If you want to take shortcuts but still get great results, this line art generator is a gift to you, my friend. Number nine, Poopa Animate Pro. Being lazy does not have to stop at modeling. You can now be a lazy animator too. Thanks to this add-on, Poopa Animator. 
It comes with over 1600 animations. 1600, that's a lot. And most importantly, it comes with an automatic rigging tool similar to the Mixamo library. That uses dots to correctly align the built-in rig with your character, making sure your character is compatible with the 1600 animation that comes with the add-on. So you don't have any excuse for not having animated characters in your background anymore. Number 10, Cloud Creator Stroke VDB Library. If you are a keen observer, then you know this was never about laziness, but about efficiency and being productive. The sky is the limit, but time is the chain that keeps us on the ground. Shoot for the skies with this cloud generator. Your walls will never feel empty with this VDB cloud library. That comes with over 200 VDB clouds, and on top of that, it's a cloud generator for creating custom clouds. Number 11, we have this visualizations generator. If you are trying to hypnotize someone into liking you, this won't work, but it surely looks amazing. This generator gives you over 50 looped visualized animation. 90s kids remember this Windows Media Player effects that would play as a screen saver on your screen as you played music. This generator does exactly that. Number 12, we have lightning and electric generator. When people ask, how did you manage to make such time consuming effects like this lightning effect? Look straight into their eyes and tell them you spent sleepless nights working on them. Only you and me have to know that it was just a few clicks of a button. No need to spill our secrets. Yes, the creator of the iron may want to be credited, but I'm sure if you slip him a few dollars in their pocket, they may back up your lies. Number 13, Building Generator. This post building generator is not new and in fact was one of the first generators to be made when geometry nodes was introduced in Blender. The reason I added it in here is to remind you how great the maker of the next generator in this list is at making such great content. And let's go to that at number 14, Shooter Breeder. If your shooter does not satisfy you, then your girlfriend is going to enjoy this one. I know your mom did. <laughs> <laughs> but this generator can generate all sorts of guns in different styles. Big black ones, big white ones, long, short, anything you can think of. Alex Yakolev made sure you can get it. Or your girl can get the satisfaction she wants if you can't provide it. Anyway, number 15. Low poly city generator. I remember the days when you had to do this by hand. I'm sure some of you prefer the old way. Me, nah, this generator is enough. Just a few clicks and all the buildings, roads, cars, trees, and everything is set up in the right location, right rotation, and can be as large as I want, with as many variations as I want, plus the cars can be animated. Yeah, I'm not going back to the old ways. I'm sticking with the new ways of using just generators. Number 16. And lastly, Procedure Water Simulator. I'm sure even the most hardworking among us will find something like this useful because simulating water comes down not to how much hard work or time you can invest into the project, but how capable your PC is. This procedure generator works on any PC, it's geometry node best and in real time, so no matter flow of simulation needed. This can all be done in real time with just a few clicks. Yeah, those were some of the amazing generators that I could find, but there are always a lot of jams out there, so I'll keep looking for them. Excuse my bad jokes, and, uh, but uh, yeah, we're just trying to have fun here, so enjoy these as I look for more. In the meantime, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.